Today we're going to talk about some new technology that's actually old school, but we can engrave wood without a laser, without software, without a computer. Whew, how do we do all that? Well, Beaver has something that we can use that'll do it. Yeah, let's check this thing out, huh? Yeah. Okay, the first thing I want to do is just cover lasers, just real briefly. I've got two fully enclosed lasers here, and I don't really use them much. There's a couple of problems with them, and they burn into the wood, just like a wood burning set would do. But the thing with a laser is it's really nice because you can use software and all that and set something up and just let the machine do the job and just stand back and go, oh man, isn't that cool? It is fine, but there are dangers with the lasers, and the first safety problem I've got with them is the goggles that are supplied with the lasers. They come in from China. There's no certification on those things. They can be a very dangerous machine and can do eye damage. Eye damage. That's not something that grows back. It, it Once it goes away, it, it stays away. You know, it's not a good thing. And also there's radiation coming off the lasers. Again, not a good thing. And you need to sort of lock the room down because you don't want anybody or animals or pets or anything getting in there where they might get into the laser where they'll see it visually because it's kind of like uh, welding. Think of welding, how you know that arc is really dangerous around your eyes. So, and there's fumes and a lot of other things going on with the lasers that are just, makes them a very unsafe, they're a very dangerous machine at this point and yet consumers are buying them up like crazy. I'm getting a lot of email uh, asking questions about uh, engraving lasers to burn into wood. So today what I'm gonna look at is actually a wood burning kit from Vivor that doesn't have all those dangers with lasers. But yeah, you might burn your fingers, I always do. <laughs> so if you can't afford the laser and you do some woodworking or Christmas gift, birthday gift, whatever, uh, someone who's interested in like signing or creating signage or whatever they wanna do in the, in the way of wood burning without a laser, this is the other, this is the old school. This is the way we used to do it when I was growing up, yeah. <laughs> and this is what comes in from Beaver. It's a really nice kit. You actually have two different types of handles. You get a lot of these little wire type, uh, I guess we'll call them uh, uh, pencil-like electrodes that will go at the ends of these that are gonna be doing the actual burning into the lumber. And you have a nice little pen set here to hold these. And also here's your control package or your wood burner. So you can actually dial it in kind of thing and, and get the amount of heat and whatever you need to work with. It's a really nice kit. It comes complete. It even includes some pieces of uh, stock. It looks like, I'm gonna say balsa type wood or something to uh, start a project with. You've got a little X-Acto knife, some uh, other things, sponge here, a little screwdriver. Uh, the screwdriver is obviously to put the different types of wire tips on here because that wire tip is going to be the actual tool that's going to be burning in. In other words, you can do some pretty fancy stuff with this and you can get pretty artsy with it. Yeah, it's not fast and dirty like a laser, but it will allow the crafty type people to, you know, you can get crazy with this stuff, you know it? Yeah. But this is what comes in the box from Beaver, and it's a great price. It's way cheaper than buying a laser right now. So the kit, the kit is priced around fifty dollars, and sometimes on sale, whatever at Beaver. But the thing is, is the it gets you get twenty three uh, of these various tips in this kit, which will have different shapes to them. They even have a little iron, little metal ball on the end of this one here, and it also comes a little point or even a little hoop little round hoop, little V type thing. So as you're engraving, you can make different shapes with these as you're going along, depending on what you call for. Now, uh, there is one thing I don't have here that I should have had, I guess, today would have been uh, templates. Now you can get templates uh, if you need them, or you can make them, uh, I will say off the internet if you need to. <laughs> you can get something off the internet and then trace it with using paper on top of some wood or something if that's what you need. But with a wood burning set like this, you can get very crafty and do some real artsy stuff. And you don't need necessarily, you know, the software, the computer, the laser and all that. And you can do some beautiful things. But you can also personalize something, especially if it's a gift for a child or something. You can put their name and burn it into a wood project, which I've done before. And it always really makes the gift a hundred times better because their name is on that item that you're giving them for Christmas or something. So just you know, making some suggestions, but also there's lots of crafty stuff, of course, you can do with wood burning kit. So now let's uh, let's set this up, and we'll turn this thing on, and we will uh, we'll do uh, you know we'll make something. 
Yeah, so the first thing I did was I've loaded up a tip in here and uh, we've plugged in our power supply. I'm just going to take a piece of wood here and just do some maybe initials or something really simple, basic to be really begin with. Uh, on the control package, we've got a switch here for this side or this side. So you can't run them both at the same time, but you can pick one or the other. So we're going to switch over to this side here, which is the burner. And uh, I'll just touch the wood. As you can see, there's no heat just yet. And then we're going to crank the heat up and it's going to indicate uh, it's going to jump in temperature to what temperature we're actually going to call for. And I guess over time you'll get a, a feel of you know what temperature works best for you. We'll see if this is heating up. I'm looking for smoke or something coming off of that right now. But uh, yep, oh yeah, it's starting to leave a little bit of a mark in the uh, lumber. So we'll crank this up. This is just a piece of plywood. Uh, there's the red zone. Let's go up to, uh, I don't know, pick a number here. Yeah, that's almost full of seven. Whoa, whoa, that's that's getting red hot. Phew. Okay, we'll pull that down a little bit. But uh, you can see, oof. Yeah. You can see it's burning the wood at uh, about 700 or whatever. It's burning rather nicely. And you can also, of course, go straight in and, you know, make a nice dot or whatever. Yeah, and really burn a hole into a piece of wood. This is getting really red hot right here at the tip. Probably can't see it very well. Be, uh, let's see if I've got something there. Maybe something dark. You can see the redness of the tip there, but uh, that's at 622. So we can, we're can we ready to burn. So then we can, almost like a pen, you know, let's go to the back side of the wood. And you could just, you know, it would take you some time to get used to using it, but I'm sure over time, you know, you would get the hang of uh, burning in a, a, a pattern. Yeah, it's not as fast as a laser, but it still offers quite a bit of crafting. And I can just do that and then rotate the pen around a little bit. And we'll start up here and come around. Oop, I want it bigger than that. And, yeah, there we go. And, again, I'm probably not doing this very well, but we'll just sort of. <laughs> yeah. I actually wouldn't mind having just a little bit more heat. Uh, yeah. Wood burning set was always kind of a slow, methodical kind of thing that you did when I was a kid. And you would just sit there and slowly work your way through the lumber in order to create LP or, you know, a, an initial or something like that. And that's just freehand, of course. Unless a template or something like that, or, uh, you know, would be a lot better to work with, of course. And we'll just turn that back down. And then I. We'll put this over here where it can cool off. And we'll go find a piece of wood for more of a project thing. This is uh, one of the mistakes that happened with the laser last year. And uh, this piece is just a scrap piece now because of the mistakes that happened. Well, but it was also to test the laser. And I got this crazy line across here that uh, unfortunately the computer picked that up, put it in the software because it was a line that's on the computer to set the fonting. So this is what ended up happening. The laser printed everything, including the line. So right off of there. So I thought I'll just go ahead and just show you. This is the uh, hoop, hoop, I guess, on the set. And with the hoop, you know, you could create uh, shapes. So you could do something like that. You know, you could get artsy fartsy, like I said, with this sort of thing. Wood burning was uh, really a hot item when I was a kid, but it seems like it's almost a lost art these days. But it's it's something that you can still do. That's really cool. And Viver has this nice kit. And it's, you, know, you know, if you're interested in wood, you know, engraving with a laser, but you don't have the money, something like this would get you started. Where you can actually do some kind of you know burn in engraving in lumber like this with these kits. And I'm, of course, <clears throat> running pretty high temperature there. I'm going to pull that back down right now. In fact, I'll just shut it off right now. But uh, This is a really cool kit, and you have these two systems. So you can have two different shapes that you can be working with, 
while you're burning and drawing your line and just switch back and forth on the unit here. So it's a, for the money and for what it offers, you know, it's a good old fashioned wood burning kit, but it's, it'll get you that sort of engraving uh, capability, you know? Yeah. And like always, before I forget, there will be a link in the description below where you can find this kit. Wow, I've got to thank Vivor <laughs> again for sending this wood burning kit over to us to check it out. They had posted a few different uh, offers of a few different things over there that you know might be of interest, and I think I probably surprised them a little bit. And just said, you know what, that wood burning kit—that's kind of interesting. Cause that's like that's old school, you know. And, you almost forget something like that happened when you were a kid, but it was like, you know, it brings back memories. So yeah, send the old wood burning kit over and we'll see what we can do with it. And if you're artsy fartsy, you know, artistic, whatever, there's, you know, this is, this is a pretty good kit. And I think it's a good price for what it is. And it offers a lot of really cool wood burning features for what it is. So yeah, you know, thank you, Beaver. Hey. Thank you for watching Coffee and Tools, and please like, share, subscribe. And in the meantime, uh, I gotta get out of here, so we're gonna just say that was it, over and out.